Hello, uh, today my topic is Jesus went all the way across the lake to throw a devil out of a man. <laughs> and Jesus boarded a boat and told them to head across the lake. Now Jesus was a busy man, but he knew this man needed some help. So as they got on their way, Jesus took him, took himself a little nap on the way across that lake. Meanwhile, a huge storm blew up. And this was not no nice little storm that was, it was a vicious storm. This storm was sinking their boat. The disciples were freaking out. I mean, they were, we died. They they started thinking, they're, you know, this boat's sinking, we're dead. And so they went and woke him up. <clears throat> they hollered at him, said, Master, we're dying. We're perishing. We're gone here. We're sunk. They were thinking they were dead. Jesus got up, looked out, and rebuked the storm. And it stopped immediately. And there was a great calm. Then he said, you guys ain't got no faith. You don't believe nothing. You don't. You see all the miracles and you ain't got no power at all to rebuke a little storm. You know... <laughs> And uh, this was basically how he responded to the emergencies in, his, in the world around him. He's not like us, passive and just sit around and hope things go away. I mean, he stood, up, he stood up and he said, shut up, when? And it obeyed him. And there was great calm on that lake then because he acted with what he knew and he he was real confident that what he said god would do because he believed that way and uh but this was just a frutal attempt of the devil to stop him from making it to the other side of that lake the devil was trying to stop jesus's mission jesus had a mission he knew in the spirit that he needed to get over there because there was a man the devil was just tearing apart and he was going to go over there and deliver that man to what he was doing and then it says he said or no i said <laughs> sorry devil you lose again see the devil lost that battle on jesus's trip over there and anyway as soon as jesus made it to the other side a man living in a tomb a graveyard he started crying out and saying basically have you come to torment me before my time and this man was in chains this man was a mess he was naked he was in the graveyard and he, he he had no hope at all i mean that's how much bondage people get in them sometimes from fooling around with their witchcraft and their sorcery and their devil worship and and sometimes just, you know, just allowing evil entities into their life. And uh, <clears throat> Jesus said, what's your name? And he said, legions. And that meant, you know, that this man had hundreds of demons in him. Hundreds. Legions is like thousands. One man had that much evil going on in his life, which is tremendous. That that's that's just it's unfathomable to the human mind we we just can't comprehend how that spiritual world you know really works but anyway these crazy demons asked jesus to send them into some swine there were some pigs over there which he did jesus he let them do it and the swine then committed suicide because you know that you know that's the spirit i mean just you know didn't want to live uh i mean them pigs didn't even want to live when them demons got in them you know so after all the people freaked out because jesus had done that they said hey you know we want you to go away because they seen that was power that was you know they had never seen before and so basically jesus got the boat and headed back and uh you know but really you know 
Jesus, <laughs> he went across that lake through all of that stuff to help that one poor soul. And that's amazing to me. That is amazing. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> my point is that Jesus cared enough about that man to go to deliver him, and which he did. And point number two, to teach his disciples about faith, which he used in the lake. He said, you got to believe. You got to have some faith. You got to stand up and shout at the enemy sometimes and tell him to get out of here because if you don't, you know, he'll try to sink your boat. And third was to show all of them that he is the great deliverer. Jesus is the one that came and delivered the man. He is the Moses of the New Testament. Jesus is the man with the power to change the whole world. He said in Hebrews 11 that by faith they subdued kingdoms. You know, they wrought righteousness. He's the man, Jesus. When you follow Jesus, you're following the great deliverer, the great I am in the New Testament. And he could do a lot more in our countries if we would believe him. Our problem is our faith. We try to go off our mind too much and our feelings instead of acting on his word. Anyway, he's a great uh, deliverer. And Jesus said, when I come back, will I find anyone with faith? Basically, he said, when I come back to earth in this latter period, is there going to be anybody, one man, one woman, that's full of confidence in God and doesn't doubt him and stands up and shouts at the winds of this world that are bringing so much heartache and pain to people today and just, you know, against the tide probably because, you know, this is an evil world right now. But God is great. God is good. He's a deliverer. And he knows what's good. Thank you.